Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today I am very excited because for the first time I think ever on this channel we're actually going to be playing with a Gates deck. Uh, Gates decks have been around for quite a while, really uh, ever since uh, the original Ravnica set was dropped. I say original, the third Ravnica set that's in standard right now. Uh, and so uh, it's really cool to be able to see this deck in action. It does some really really powerful stuff. It really has a great way of going over the top. Uh, what I will say about this version, though, is it's slightly different. It's not just focused on the gates portion of it, uh, which I really, really like. Um, we've talked a lot recently about with the recent bannings, uh, as well as the companion nerf. Uh, one of the decks that really kind of rises to the top of the crop is the Wilderness Reclamation deck. So uh, if you don't know what that deck does, essentially it teams Wilderness Reclamation, uh, which untaps all of your lands at the beginning of your end step, and you can, you can stack these so you... Uh, tap all your lands for that mana, untap them with Wilderness Reclamation, tap them again. Uh, it You get a lot of mana with Wilderness Reclamation out, and then the idea is you use Explosion here uh, to just deal X damage to the opponent, hopefully killing them, and win the game that way. Uh, what's great about this little combo is, even if you can't kill them, you can deal with whatever they're doing on the board, and you're drawing a lot of cards, and what that means is you're probably going to find your next explosion, uh, which is going to help you get there for the win, hopefully the following turn. So uh, this is kind of a weird thing uh, that we don't always see, which is, you know, despite it being able to win the game, if it can't, you still get to hopefully get yourself closer to it just doing the same thing, which is really cool. Uh, but this is a gate stack at its heart, so it's got things like Securitas Route, uh, it's got Gatebreaker Ram as really the big beater. Uh, so this gets plus one, plus one for every gate you control. And then, of course, uh, two, if, as long as you control two or more gates, it also has Vigilance and Trample. Obviously, that's going to be very, very easy for us to get. Uh, we So for the record, this, land, or this deck excuse me, has 30 lands, so half of the deck is lands. Uh, but you'll see why. Uh, a lot of the cards that we've got in here are really just based off of getting value off of these lands, so it's really, really nice, honestly. So we've got Azorius Guildgate, is it Guildgate? Uh, four of them. I, I don't like... I pulled this list, so I don't like that there are two of different kinds, but that's fine. Uh, uh, Gruul Guildgate, Selesnya Guildgate, and Simic Guildgate. Uh, we also have the Plaza of Harmony to help us fix our mana. Uh, some Breeding Pools in here. And then I think, yeah, just a couple of basic lands here, two islands and two forests to help us uh, get the mana we need. But the idea here is uh, every land in our deck does so much that it's worth it to just have so many of them. Not only does it buff this up, uh, it also allows us to draw cards with things like Guild Summit. So anytime we play a gate out, if this is on the battlefield, we get to draw a card. Uh, not only that, but when we do play this, we can tap any number of untapped gates we control and then draw a card for each gate tap that way. Uh, and so there's a lot of potential to draw through the deck and get to those, obviously, Wilderness Wrecks as well as the Explosions. Uh, circuitous Route here, a really good way to pull out these gates that we need from our deck. Uh, we get two of them for four mana, which is very, very good. Uh, Storm's Wrath is here as well as Gates of Blaze to control the board. Storm's Wrath does a fantastic job of threatening Planeswalkers. Uh, deals four damage to every creature and each Planeswalker. Obviously, the two creatures we have are Uro as well as the Gatebreaker Ram. Nine times out of ten, this is not going to touch those uh, in a way that's actually going to kill them, which is fantastic. Uh, Gates of Blaze deals X damage to each creature where X is the number of gates you control. Obviously, this gives us a great way to deal with the early aggro decks. Uh, and just really devalue what they're doing. Uh, Uro here does help us kind of ramp out, but also keep us alive a little bit. And then, of course, a backup threat if need be. So uh, we can play this from the graveyard if we need. So that's the deck. It's pretty straightforward. There's not a ton to talk about because half the cards are lands, but uh, I did play test it just a little bit. Really, really enjoy it. It's a different take on a, on a Gates deck uh, because... We're not seeing it just trying to go over the top with the Gate Colossus stuff and, like, just, you know, dealing damage. This is a, a little bit more of a combo piece, which I think is very, very fun. I like that more, uh, and it does team the Wilderness Reclamation combo with something really, really powerful. Uh, just want to mention, we've had issues with our network this morning, so I'm really, really hoping we'll be okay here, but we're going to do the best we can. So, 
Uh, excuse me, I also felt like I had to sneeze for a second. Uh, just want to mention to everybody, uh, if you did not, uh, or if you happened to miss it yesterday, we did post our video uh, explaining that we are doing a Core 2021 bundle giveaway. Uh, if you're interested in picking that up, you certainly can do so. Uh, or, excuse me, you can enter to do so, I should say. Uh, so if you'd like to, all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel, comment on any video with hashtag Core2021. Uh, if you do that, you are entered to win. Uh, and it's, I think, really, really exciting. I wonder if we're supposed to go ahead and Gates Ablaze here. I kind of think we do. Um, that might be incorrect. It might have been better to Uro there, but I kind of wanted to get rid of that before they could really capitalize on it with like a Witch's Oven or something, so. Mayhem Devil, huh? Okay. Uh, let's play that out. Let's just go ahead and Uro here. Gain a little bit of life. We've got a circuitous route, uh, which is going to help us get some more gates out as well. That's pretty good. And we've got the combo in hand, so truly it's just a matter of can we get enough lands. Uh, which is obviously really, really nice when you have 30 lands in your deck. So uh, hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem. <clears throat> These uh, sacrifice decks are really, really potent right now. Very, very strong. Uh, and certainly something to be uh, aware of if you are playing standard or getting into standard right now. They are very, very strong. Um, exceedingly so. Um. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm wondering how we should do this. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. And we're going to play this a little bit safe. Whoops. I uh, should have put a stop there. That was my mistake. Um, that is something you have to be very cautious of is putting a stop everywhere that you need it. Uh, but before we go to combat here, we'll actually get to uh, to do some stuff. So unfortunately, they get to do stuff in response here, which is kind of bad. Why are we not getting to respond? Am I missing something? Oh, we don't have the lands, do we? Oh my goodness, I am, I am silly. Pardon me, we do not have the lands. Um, I was, <laughs> I was like, why can't we do that? I just kind of assumed we had all the lands that we needed. Obviously not the case. Uh, so, uh, hopefully we can get another Gates of Blaze. I think we may have pulled that trigger a little too early. Um, and that's okay. We'll, we will see what we can do. I think chances are though, uh, so they can deal quite a bit to us here. Um, I'm not sure that we can win this. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. Um, hmm. Uh, that, I think this was entirely me being a little bit too preemptive with some of our plays here. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede. I think we just, uh, that, that was my mistake. I think we should not have played that Gates of Blaze quite so early. That was it, I think. Um, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. Um, also, just want to mention to you guys, uh, my fiance and I um, are uh, considering tomorrow. Uh, it's Saturday for us tomorrow. We're, we're really excited because there's a place nearby that we found. I like doing photography stuff uh, just in general. Uh, that's something that I really love doing. Uh, just as a hobby, it's not something that I take, you know, tremendously seriously by any means. But um, I... We have the opportunity tomorrow to go to to a place that's about an hour away from where we live, and I'm really excited because it looks like a very beautiful place. Uh, and I'd love to go take some photos and do that kind of thing. But uh, what my my question being posed to you all is, uh, you know, we we do have the opportunity to vlog something like that. Obviously, it's not magic related content, so I don't want to like, you know, push us in the way of like, hey, this isn't a magic channel anymore or anything like that. That's not it. But um, I just wanted to kind of bring it up to see what your thoughts were on it, uh, if it's something you guys would be interested in, um, and if so, maybe we'll we'll try and vlog it. Uh, Caitlin, my fiance, is 
very, very sweet and very, very kind to uh, be able to uh, stick with me through some of these like very silly ideas that I have and vlog things and that kind of stuff. And so if you're if you're interested in seeing it, we'll we'll consider vlogging something and just to make it kind of fun and different. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a tough matchup solely because yeah, they they're going to have removal and some very very strong things. So uh, expansion explosion is going to help, but uh, we are definitely in a bit of a, a race situation here. Uh, let's wilderness wreck. Um, no attacks. Okay, so uh, the good news is if we do kill that, we might be in okay shape, but ugh, that feels terrible. So we're just going to do this for one uh, solely so we can honestly just draw a card. Um, uh, it's not great, but we kind of have to, I think. Uh, they're about to sweep this and this off of the board, which is really bad. Um, this, these uh, mutate decks, man, are potent. They are very, very potent. Um, unfortunately, very difficult to deal with once they get to this level in particular. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. I think we will just circuitous route for now. Um, we kind of have to get... Uh, whoops. Well, that's fine. Uh, we kind of need to get as many lands out as we can just so we can explosion, uh, potentially just this, but I don't know. We're in a race situation. It's going to be really, really tricky to get out of this. Um, <clears throat> I think what we'll also do at some point, man, they are just going ham with that. Uh, I think what we'll also do at some point is try the gate stack that does not have the reclamation combo. Oh my goodness. Um, and just see how that fares uh, in comparison to this one, because I do think that's an interesting little tidbit of information to think about. Uh, this is terrible. I think we just lose. <laughs> um, has trample, so there's nothing we can do there. Ugh. I mean, we can sweep here, and that's fine, but it's not enough. Let's just do this, and then we'll concede just for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yep, we're gonna concede. Oh, two losses so far. All right, let's jump in. Game three, maybe we can get there on this one. Uh, I do feel like this deck is pretty interesting. I don't know if it's... I think it's less consistent than the regular Teamer Reclamation deck because it's got less... It's got board sweepers, but it has a little bit less, like, counter magic and less interaction. Uh, and so it doesn't do quite as good a job of getting to that late game. Uh... And it also is trying to slot in like the Gatebreaker Rams and things like that, which are a little bit, you know, they're they're different, uh, is what we will say. Um, we are going to keep this. Uh, I know that we don't have any green mana here, but considering how many lands we have, as well as the Guild Summit, I think we'll be okay. Um, sorry if you're hearing a dog in the background. There is a dog in the background. Um, Gates of Blaze is going to hopefully... Oh, that's perfect hopefully keep us alive here uh, pretty well, uh, as well as the Storm's Wrath. Um, interesting, a five-color deck here? Teferi, okay. Uh, yep, we just play that. Uh, and this is unfortunately a bit of a drawback with this deck, is that a lot of times in the early turns of the game, you just don't do anything, which is why it has so many, like, Gates of Blaze, uh, as well as Storm's Wrath, things like that, uh, just to be able to sweep uh, as much as possible. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Whoops. Oh, I played in the wrong order. We should have been able to draw a card here. That was my mistake. Uh, so we'll Guild Summit. Um Definitely played in the wrong order. I'm still learning the deck, as you can clearly see. Um, but that's okay. Sure. Um, this Teferi is definitely annoying. They'll be able to bounce the Guild Summit if they would like. However, if they do that, we kind of just get to Storm's Wrath. So, not really opposed to them trying it. Um, looks like that is what they're going to do. Five colors. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and Storm's Wrath here. Uh, 
Uh, and we'll play this out. That's fine. Uh, Clothis is very, very good, but uh, honestly, against our deck, it's not necessarily at its best. It's just kind of fine. Um, very good. Very, very good. Uh, we do get two Gates of Blaze, though, if we need to, so that's actually kind of fine. Not a bad draw either. Let's go ahead and play that out. Uh, and let's do this. Get rid of Golos, and then we can Guild Summit here. Um, so now, of course, we've got Circuitous Route being able to come down next turn, which is also... Oh, my goodness. They are really going ham with these uh, Assassin's Trophies. Let's take the action. Uh, we'll get a green mana. We, we've got all the blue that we need, uh, as well as the red, technically. Um, and so what I'd like to be able to do is... Get multiple, you know, wilderness wrecks down, that kind of stuff. Uh, really, we also just have all the colors that we would possibly need, so it's not really a huge worry either way. Um, they do have the opportunity to Uro here if they would like. Uh, we've got Gates of Blaze to handle it, but man, our dog is going ham. <laughs> Sorry if you're hearing a lot of barking in the background, but uh, that's okay. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to Circuitous Route first, uh, just because I would like to have as many of these lands out of our deck as possible. Um, that way our draws are getting better and better, uh, if that makes sense, or at least we have a better shot at getting something better. Um, chances are we're going to hit something pretty big here, though, on the opponent's side. I'm, I'm curious to see what they've actually, they'll end up having. Um, They've got a lot of permanent destruction, so these Wilderness Wrecks, I'd like to get two down at the same time, if we can. Uh, just to... That's fine. Um, just to avoid, like, double Assassin... Or uh, an Assassin's Trophy play or something like that, so... We will see. Um, we can Gates of Blaze that, so not tremendously worried, to be honest. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and Gates of Blaze. Uh, I don't think we can let them keep the Uro on the field, so. Oops. Do this, do this. So we can't get both of these out, but uh, this does, if they've got a removal spell, that's gonna burn it. Uh, and so we do have the other backup in the hand. Unfortunately, them killing the Guild Summit was a very good move. Um, reason being, that's our big draw engine. Uh, and so if we lose that draw engine, a lot of times it's really difficult to to come back from that. Um, Wilderness Wreck is great, but it's really not doing anything. And the downside to having so many lands in your deck is exactly what we're seeing, which is we're just going to end up drawing a lot of lands. Um, and so we do have to hopefully get there with something. Um, we'll see if we can. Uh, a Guild Summit would be nice, though, just because it does give us the opportunity to draw quite a bit of cards. So uh, even better would be Explosion. Uh, we could just explode for for a good bit and hit them, draw a bunch of cards, and then hopefully uh, follow that up with another one. <clears throat> and we can hit for quite a bit right now. I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, yeah, uh, 20, I think. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe even more than that if we can get... Uh, because we get two untaps, so yeah, technically even more than that. Okay, well, that's not going to get us there, but again, deck thinning, important. <laughs> uh, let's get two more. All right. <laughs> uh, that's the position of the deck, I suppose, is the or the problem with the deck is consistency. Oh, man. That hurts. That hurts pretty bad. Sure. Okay, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's actually only hit for six here, which means we're going to just take out this Narset. Um, I kind of want to be able to hit a Wilderness Wreck, which is what we did. Um, let's drop Wilderness Wreck. 
and let's play a plaza here. We can play the Uro, but we need to be able to escape it in the same turn, and I don't think we'll be able to. Um, and so, you know, we can gain some life here, but it's not going to be great. Uh, Guild Summit going to be hopefully very, very good. We will see. Okay, that was useful. Oh, they just wanted to escape. Sure, well, that makes sense. So we're going to need to be able to hit for a lot. Um, they're going to bounce the Wilderness Wreck, I assume. So chances are we lose. They're at 50. I mean, this is going to be a, this is going to be a slug <laughs> if, if we're actually going to get there. But uh, all right, let's see. First things first, let's Guild Summit. Let's draw three. Okay. Uh, let's play Wilderness Wreck. Let's play this. Storm's Wrath. I do like Storm's Wrath, but uh, let's do this. Let's get a big creature out. Um, all right. That's fine. It's not good, but it's fine. No, I am not making this up as I go. So we really just don't want them to have another ultimatum. Oh, that's bad. Niv is it, huh? Well, they didn't actually hit very much. That's kind of fine. Not a big deal. The problem is we're going to lose before we kill them. Uh, like cards in our deck potentially. Um, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times two, twenty-four plus four, twenty-eight. So you can do a good bit to them, but it's not really going to be enough. Um, we do get to attack in here. Let's circuitous route. Um, get you and you. We're just buffing this up, essentially. Another one, huh? It's not bad. Um, let's play that. So the, the worry is that we just kill ourselves with the, the, um, expansion explosion, because we draw too many cards. So, like, that's slightly a problem. Um... I am going to play the Uro here. Kind of want to see if we can hit like another Storm's Wrath or something, just so we could double up on some stuff here, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Okay. Okay, we did get there. Um, that's something we could potentially do then. Um, put a stop on our end step. Oops, stop it. There. Uh, we're going to attack them. They probably will not block. I don't really see a reason that they would. We have to kill Niv Mizzet is kind of a slight problem here. Uh, because we are going to take just a lot of damage next turn. If we don't. Uh, and these do not have reach. That's very key. I guess they're debating on what to do. Okay, I was gonna say I didn't. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we can. Why is am I okay? Huh. So I just did the stop wrong. That's interesting. Stop after this turn, I guess, is what we needed. That's weird. Um, yeah. 
So we would have not taken six damage here, though, which would have been pretty key. Yeah, we just lose. Dang. Um, that was just my misplaying, I guess. I thought we were correct to say stop at the end. Maybe I'm, I'm just wrong, I guess. That's fine. Uh, we will learn. We will get there. Uh, helps to know how to play the deck. Obviously, that's something I'm still working at. But uh, regardless, uh, no wins this time. We'll jump into another uh, three games here. Hopefully, we can get some wins that way. Uh, very excited about this deck, though. I do think that given better playing uh, on my end, we would have been in much better shape. So uh, hopefully we can at least see it do its thing once or twice in the next video. But I do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you'll leave a like or a comment down below if you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to enter our Coria bundle giveaway, or excuse me, Core 2021 bundle giveaway. Uh, we did two Aquaria bundle giveaways still on the mind, but uh, really do appreciate all the support guys. And I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.